So on the way going now, going on smoothly. When it just as the crossover coal gate, um, the bus started to move fast. Really bus started to move fast. Look before we reach the firm goal. As we, to enter the firm goal, the driver would start to scream now and say, driver, driver, and the driver tried to stop because the driver said, Mommy, mommy, we can't find a brakes. We can't find a brakes and he would have to sweep the bus to the theme side to the wall. Because the bus going cross way and the road him. So the treat over to the side now and look up in the wall. My sister in law was behind him. He was pinned down. He pinned down in the bus. You know. The driver pinned down in the bus. I was at the front. Mm. Me and my one next little girl was beside me. So passed by, I was, that was going to the beach you now. Stop an next bus stop and take out. And start to pull the back of the bus. And start to take out the children them. So this is a survivor from the recent accident that happened in Fern Gully that claimed the life of one woman right now as it stands six children is still in the uh, in the hospital battling for their lives now in the initial report it was 16 children so out of the 16 six still live at the hospital mm -hmm. right now please me i beg you know Bone ahead in prayer. Spam the comment section with some prayers for these children. I hope they pull through and I hope everybody else, you know, don't succumb to any injuries or any sort. No. Why? This lady lived to tell the tales. The person that died is her sister in law. I think her name is Suzette. And I am here listening the story. And trust me, <clears throat> my heart is jumping. You know why my heart is jumping? When the lady said, look here, the driver turned to them and said, look here, the bus now have no brake, you know? Oh my God, come on now. Remember, this is the driver of the bus. This is the driver who is controlling the bus. This is the driver that have all these people's lives in his hand. And he turned to the passengers and said, Look here, I don't have no brake. My God. They said that being in this situation and hearing about it is two different things. But listen. In this case, not all the while, because me I listen to this now, and me feel like me in a the accident. God forbid. Because when the driver they turn round and say to me, say, or say to you, I say, look here, me not have no brake. Me can't find no brake. Me I press the brake, and the brake is not holding. Remember, the lady said that they were going so nice, you know, yeah, bus are going good, then the driver pick up speed, you know, and they saw everything get knocked, you know, yo, I wonder if you don't really understand what I'm going on, you so. All right, pre, pre it like this, right, look at it like this, you as a father or as a mother and that bus, and you have two kids with you and the driver turned to you and said that eh? how you are going to console the kids them you not even can think about yourself right away the first thing you are thinking about are the picnic them are the kids mm -hmm. them like how, how especially if they understand where the driver just say a while ago Oh, uh, at this point, we are going to tell them kids, they say, Faith, we calm them down. Can you imagine the noise and the, the screaming and, boy, it, it, just listening to it, it's traumatizing. Just to think about it or anything of the sort, much less being in the situation. Jano, this horrific, man. It's come like a dopey show, like a... Uh, man, what was 
set out to be a fun day ending up being a horrifying day for these people so that may your soul rest in peace JY family please spam the comment section with your prayers Jano hope no one else succumb to their injuries so please remember it's an opinionated channel and everybody's entitled to their own opinion spam the comment section let me know what you think down in the comment section do you think that the bus driver handles the situation properly what would you have done different would you turn to the passengers and tell them the harsh truth um, so they can brace themselves what do you think about the situation yeah leave your thoughts down below it is very important you're watching jamaica youtube tv so we get it exactly how we tell it no fabrication you got it so just like share subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell and little bless outside saying and well 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 no jy family we are on another sad story father and son pass away in a serious car accident again why you know what you know be repetitive so me not even about to say nothing here, man. let me just give you guys the update father and son killed in portland car crash six year old boy and his father died as a result of injuries they sustained in a two vehicle crash on the ferry hill main road in portland on monday april 1st the child has been identified as Jaden Woolery, a resident of Sherwood Forest, and his father, 53 year old David Woolery, a resident of Zion Hill, both neighboring communities in Portland. Police report that about 10 18 pm, David was driving a, a gray Suzuki Swift with Jaden and a little girl. As, uh, as passengers when the car collided with a red Toyota Corolla. The father and the two children were rushed to hospital where he and his son Jaden succumbed to their injuries. The other child, who is Jaden's sister, has been admitted in stable condition. The driver of the red Corolla has been warned for prosecution. <laughs> Anyway, as I say, I'm not say nothing because it's too much here, man. And I'm going to be repetitive. Anyway, this is the car that is on your screen right now. Look at that. Uh, I hope that the, that little girl pulled through. Yeah. I'm going to spam the comment section with your prayers for that little girl. I hope that she really pulled through because look at the car. Look at this. You know, but reports are saying that she's in stable condition still, you know. That are the greatest part about And yes, we are still an accident. <laughs> now, this, uh, this accident, I'm telling you, man. I have the video in my WhatsApp. I'm going to send it in the group. And I'm going to pin the link down in the comment section. Trust me, this one is hard to watch too. Anyway, let me give you guys the official report. And died as a result of injuries he sustained when the Toyota Mark X he was driving overturn on the Royal Flat Main Road in Manchester and Easter Monday. When I realize when when it thing them going from um Friday to Monday, when I realize the amount of accident we're going. Listen to me. Me know say we have here fun, and you know you get to look at east and thing you want to touch the road, but there is there is a chain reaction from way back in the days when it come to holiday. Yeah, trust me. Them thing here always go on. Just that we have a social media now that is highlighting it more. <laughs> You have the, us, the bloggers, you know, who are bringing the things them. So, it's like on a nice skip a beat. But them things have been a going, you know. But differently still, I'm not like you. 
them driver ya boy a pilot license them need to get here man trust me and them have a thing where them have said the car them like the road just attack to them the car just attack to them them just a tip in the belly yeah man me have to rev out the belly man yo Mark X have a whistle like a sca bird yeah man me I tell you man so oh boy Sometimes I wake up in the morning, I say, no man, it come like a, do a dopey show in my phone. Yeah, when the amount of dead people in my phone sometimes. It's not even funny. I just look at him and say, John, what's that? People just a drop like a fly, so. Mm-mm, John. -o. Anyway, as we depend on the whole driving and car and all these things, a taxi man have a story for telling you, and him have a, he have some questions. Yeah, because him, him want to ask you know, if him wrong or him right, do we deal with this situation? Like, basically, he must say, a frowns rasta coming in a taxi, and everybody a pint for him, and him end up defuse the situation, and them still, uh, him end up get the blames. Yo. Why, trust me, listen to the story. When you come back, we talk some more. Hey, I'm going to show you how taxi man bad luck, you know. A while ago, I come down. I come down a while ago and I tell you, say, come down with some passenger and then stop and pick up one Rasta woman. I pick up, I pick up the Rasta woman, the Rasta woman coming out of the car. I mean, I tell you, say, yo, as you man come in, what order lick you? But the order, you can tell, say, how to hear the order come from Zin. Care full of people, you know, Zin. And everything went all right before the Rasta woman come in. So the Rasta woman come in, I may drive, I may smell it. So everybody have to smell it, especially who run at the back back, because around there's everything I go, you know. So here, here one of the passengers them go say to me now. Why drive us up no smell good? Eh? Something no smell good. Everything went alright. Zin? Why you go come to me, the driver, and go tell me about say why something no smell good round ya? Eh? Me did it and me laugh. I laugh, you know. I no say nothing. Did it and he so, they, 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 somebody still a prolong in it. But the person who a prolong it, everybody has started join him now. The boy driver, this no smell right at all. This and that and them are going and them are going, you know. The driver, they are blaming you know. <laughs> I know the car smell frowns, you know. Or not way. You can say the car smell frowns, you know. So, yeah, attack the driver. Then I say the Rasta woman smell frowns or whatever, you know. Then go they say, boy driver. Like then they tell me if you tell the Rasta, say. So, me did they have no one. Me did they have a laugh, me have a laugh. So, me did they, did they get serious, you know, because the odor strong your blood clot, you know, man. The order strong for real, man. Cause I tell us to me a drive on my head. Me have to catch, I saw me a catch out on the drive. So me did that and me I say, Ras, cause I want a female, you know. So me I say, Ras, God knows, star, come like we can't go, go too far, you know. Because something right about you, and I meet everybody I take out the pan. You see me I say, did they and nobody still now nah say nothing to the rasta, you know? So the rasta they say, what you mean by so? Oh, 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 why? Oh, what you mean by what you are say? And all of them something. Me I say, yeah, what? Fear, 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 peaceful, whatever. Me, me go make you just take a different car and me pull over. You pull me pull over, rasta, and me they get all like this in now, you know? Me bad luck, you fuck. And me, I get all like this in your know, car. The people, they might take you out for me. And the Rasta start attack me now. 
I'm one know if the Rasta no smell himself say yo he had one wash brother the rust the the the, the rust the rust clad me I tell you so anyway me pull the door and Rasta come out Rasta come out you know cause Rasta year long you know me not talk I don't short shoulder or right as you know Rasta year long come down a body there so you know so I tell us, say, Rasta come out, and Rasta come out on a course, and I say, no, I just lucky door on the drive. You see, as my lucky door, here fuck of them. Jesus Christ, the woman had frowned, the woman had this, and the, the woman had that. And you see, Rasta, you know, but I have to laugh, because I say, yo, I don't find it hard to say to the Rasta, say, yo, yeah, what the people then go say, I'm my car. I'm me if you say it to her. So me, I say, what the bum look like that? It didn't affect me, but me run as our maid can push through the window. You see me, I say, and them run there. And them, if you say, yo, roar to the rasa and all of them, see, why them I can't take you out for me for? And if you made frozen, me say, my bum look like that. I say I feel you and I don't know if I'm head. It comes like a female thing to pussy clad. Eh? No, sir. Rasta, you don't need to wash your head, man. Wash it. Because enough time I see some video when you don't trim. Or dung in them blood clean places are white. No breeze now pass through there. You don't know, get no soap, did they? Nothing, nothing, none at all. And then when you come in a vehicle, I drive everything there, he blame the go pan. And you supposed to make it that take out pan the driver, because the driver don't do nothing. The man salt off. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> hey, I see you are sitting here, but you have some people out there, you know. It's like rag and swoop, and them in a malice, you know. Yeah, man, them not talk to rag and swoop, them not have a reason with rag and <laughs> And guess what? When them shower, they, it's like them malice, them head, them no one on water touch, touch them head. The rest of them, I say, yo, boy. It's a head of hard for thee with now. I have, have to go a hairdresser and when I go a hairdresser, how much money for thee with it. So, before you know it, they always have some form of excuse until them shower and them hair no wash. Trust me, that no make no sense. Remember, them have one thing say, clean clothes can't cover dirty hair. <laughs> And then they have one thing say, call one, can't cover that the smell the same way. You understand? Because, no cure you say, oh, you know I'm beard, and you just say, use call one, use call one. You say, one time, the scent overpower the call one, and then everything mix up together. Jesus, boy. Mm. No, sir. And them have this long hair, and I want, you know, want to carry. If you can't carry, man, just cut it off. Cut it off, man, more than put people through this traumatic smell. The driver said, I'm going to put his head out of the door and he still turn up around there. And then the people, them know. Why? What do you think about the people, them? Because the people are hypocrites, you know? Because they know, say. The car will smell good all along. But as the Rasta come in there, the car will smell cheap. <laughs> Yo. Why am I telling you? Say? Trust me. You just come like me job boy on YouTube. Yeah, man. The, the, the key will be trying to nice up the thing, spice up the thing, and slice up the thing, and dice up the thing. And, you know, yeah, you always have somebody. The key will be trying to be neutral. Whenever I'm covering a certain topic, Persons always try to twist you up and DC you up and all these things. But anyway, what do you think about the one here?
Tell me if the driver wrong. Him hang the situation wrong. Or the passengers should be more mindful. I, mean, I don't even know ya man. Trust me. This is for my ladies and brothers. You need to know this too. Ladies, contrary to what you're being taught, that a man will most likely marry the most beautiful woman he meets, the sexiest woman he meets, the more su most successful woman he meets, or the first woman that have his child. That's not true. Let me break down something to you that is realistic, right? A man is more sensitive, hormonal wise than the world portrays out there, right? A man will most likely marry the woman who stimulates his emotions and his hormones most. Listen to this. If you understand how much a, a man, a real man, appreciates the feminine side of a female, you would never fight with your man as a woman. If you notice when you get aggressive with your man, he matches your energy in most cases. It's a fight. It's a battle. Because that's natural for a man. And this is why it's natural. If you understand the dynamics of the daily life of a man out in this world, the last thing he wants is a woman he has to combat with. The last thing he wants to go home to is a woman who does not bring him peace. The last thing he wants to deal with when he wake up in the morning is the thought of having a woman who's going to be a burden throughout that day. Believe me. A man desires peace more than he desires anything else. After peace, he needs respect and appreciation. And ladies, believe me. Men out here, we have it difficult. We have the hardest life to live. Especially successful men or ambitious men. Men doing something for themselves. We have the hardest life to live. We must battle with the world every day. Every second of the day. That is why we choose a woman who brings us peace and who brings us comfort. Take my words. Brothers, if I'm wrong, correct me. And if JY family, come on, man, come on. You can't read so far and don't press the like button. Hit the bell icon to be notified. And this is the channel you need to subscribe to that you didn't know you need to subscribe to. Do the right thing, man. Jamaica, me not sell out Them try clip we wings Somehow we can't fly out But when we there, yard, yeah, Nothing nice like Jamaica Roast bread, fruit and banana Under the tree With a glass of